We are day 15 into war 100, and I think it might be a long war. We're still for the most part at or around starting position since the war has begun. Both sides taking a losing ground as expected, but having a hard time pushing past the starting middle hexes. Although, as of right now, whole wardens hold the most victory points, but as we all know, that can change overnight. The Fairneck Coast has been a bloodbath, with our casualty rates from both sides keeping up with Deadlands and landing in the second place of most casualties per hex. And I expect those numbers to continue to rise as our tech starts unlocking more tanks and, you know, heavy duty equipment and all that good stuff. It's going to be a wasteland before we even get into Westgate, I think. Uh, and I, for the most part, I've been in the trenches, fighting alongside my fellow wardens. But I am hoping to start picking up tanking more, as it's an area I just don't do much in. And as always, QRF is calling. Here's some highlights of our pushes into Jade, Victa, and even Westgate for a little bit. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the front. It is kind of absurd right now how we're just like, <laughs> the gun I mean, yeah. Ride it while you can. Ride it while you can. I smell that. I smell Jade Cove. Mmm. Well, no, because it smells like victory. victory. No, that is for Sunday. I mean, we can build bunk, uh, bunker pieces and stuff like that, at least for the Jacob. What a Chad. We are going to use artillery. Hey man, I don't know who to use this here, okay?
Good job. How, how many medics? <laughs> <laughs> it's all for you, baby. All for you. Okay. Like they'll focus the forces into area. Yes, they can push harder, but you can kill it. Also, if your mines suddenly disappear, then you know they're planning to do you know, an attack. Because also, yeah, keep them there again. Come up and shoot it with the 40 mil. Two Fucking like and subscribe.